Wind for fishing a suspending jerk bait certainly is always a plus. You know, whether it's just a little ripple on the surface or it's, you know, a pretty good chop, it certainly always is a plus. It goes that way for any hard bait, any, any you know, I mean, a spinner bait, crank bait, jerk baits, swim baits, all those types of things. Wind is always a plus. It just allows you to camouflage that bait a little bit more. The fish are, are not quite as aware of what's going on. They're more likely to, to take a strike at it either way. And sun or clouds, either one. I've had some amazing days fishing a jerk bait when it was sunny. I've had some amazing days whenever it was really dark and gloomy and cloudy. So either one of those are fine. But typically the, the time of year is gonna dictate that and, and the water temperature a little bit more. Um, and, and of course the body of water you're fishing. If you're fishing a place that's really, really clear, some clouds are probably gonna be what you want. If, you're, if the water has some visibility or you know, a little more stain to it and it's colder, Sunny, a sunny afternoon is probably going to be best, but you can, either or will certainly work, no doubt about it. The, the reasons jerk baits work, <clears throat> I listed five different ones here. That is five, ain't it, Bill? <laughs> just want to see if you was paying attention. You weren't paying any attention, though. But uh, no, the, 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 reason, <laughs> the, the reason jerk baits work, you know, because they, they have, definitely work to the sense uh, to a fish's sense of being a visual feeder it's something that e even the fish you catch on a jerk bait it's it's not like a crankbait where it just immediately comes into their vision and bam they bite it instantly i i, I truly believe that fish that bite a jerk bait are going to they're going to notice that it's there they're going to come up they're going to follow it along a little bit before they strike it immediately i, I don't think that they see it come into their zone a little bit and just immediately drill it Certainly can be the, the, that way on, at times, but I don't think that's the way most strikes happen on a jerk bait. But it stays in the strike zone. That's something that it's very difficult to do with almost anything, is to keep that bait hovering in that fish's strike zone. And that goes for suspending as well as a floating style jerk bait. You know, fish that are up really shallow, a top water style bait is something that it just 90% of the stuff that, that we use to fish with, it hits the water and immediately goes to the bottom. That's just the way most baits are, unless it's, you know, it's either, it's gotta be a top water pretty much for it to, to not immediately do that, or a suspending style bait. So it stays in the strike zone, near, you could almost say at an eye level with the fish, which is, which is something that, that it just makes them very unique. Very erratic action, you, whatever you do with the rod tip, is what you're making that bait do. So everybody in this room, if we all had the same rod and reel set up, the same baits, every one of us would make that bait look a little bit different in the water. You know, so that, that's definitely one big key to, uh, to take from that. And they, they, that erraticness makes it very natural too. It uh, you know, just makes it certainly look a lot more like a, a bait fish does than, uh, than a lot of other things. And it, and it can make noise. Like I said, you know, most all jerk baits rattle, at least somewhat. Of course, the hook slap on them definitely makes some noise. So it's not too much to be overkill, like some baits are, but it's enough to get, get a fish's attention and, uh, and get them looking at it, okay? Suspending style jerk baits, pretty simple here. Um, but w whenever you are making a bait suspend, or getting one out of the pack, you know, most all baits that say they're suspending on the package, you'll get them out and they probably actually float or they may actually sink a little bit. You, you almost never get a bait, a bait out of the pack, put it in the water and it hovers just below the surface and it doesn't go one direction or the other. It, it just pretty much doesn't happen. You change the water temperature and it's not gonna happen with that bait either. It's gonna go one way or the other. The warmer the water is, the less dense it is, the more it's gonna sink, the faster it will sink. You can take the same bait that sinks in 60 degree water, put it in 40, and it may float. It may suspend perfectly, but it's, gonna, it's definitely gonna act different in different temperatures of water just due to the density of the water. But whenever you are, some, some things that you can do to a bait to change the way that it acts as far as the ability that it has to suspend, Certainly changing the, uh, or putting suspend dots on it, changing the hooks, whether you go bigger or smaller there, light wire, heavy wire hooks. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run of the mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z 
to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.